Welcome, all you beautiful souls. This is See You Next Time, and today we're here to experience a guided meditation using the perfect breath. The perfect breath is just a slow, consistent inhale and exhale through the nose. It's slightly different for everyone, but it's about five and a half seconds in and five and a half seconds out. Five and a half seconds in and five and a half seconds out without holding at the top or at the bottom. So, gather your thoughts and set them aside while you find a comfortable place to sit or to lie down. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we'll begin. We want to breathe into the heart and let your chest expand. And we're going to breathe in, two, three. Four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in. We're going to use this breathing technique to achieve coherence of mind, body, and spirit. Be guided by what feels right, but try and keep your in-breaths and out-breaths equal in time. As you inhale, visualize a golden beam penetrating you deeply through the chest and filling your heart with light. And as you exhale, that same beam of light continues through you. We exist as light connecting to light. Perhaps the beam splinters and connects to every part of you. Or maybe it remains focused. However it travels through you, you also travel through it. The self and the other are not separate. The inside cannot exist without the outside. As you continue to breathe in this rhythm, you begin to picture a scene of immense gratitude. Perhaps it's a partner, or a child, or a particularly nice cheese. However it manifests for you, it fills you with that gratitude. In, two, three, now you imagine yourself on a beautiful beach with perfect sunshine and glorious white sand. Perhaps the warm water of the sea is lapping over your feet. As you're lying there, enjoying the sensation of the warmth on your skin, and the sun supporting your body in perfect balance. You catch a dancing, evocative scent in the air. Maybe it's a fresh spray of Lynx Africa, or Axe for those outside the UK, Ireland and Australasia. Or it could be a deliciously marinated roasting baby, wafting through the air, or perhaps it's simply the familiar smell of your favourite person and their genitals. You begin to feel the physical world slipping away, or perhaps it's your physical self dissolving. These are the same. The inside cannot exist without the outside. As you continue to breathe the perfect breath, you yourself are breathed by the universe. 
you begin to feel yourself unshackled from the physical, as if carried away by the water, but you are held only by the great reality deep down within, you don't feel soggy at all, as you exist as a concept in the void, you feel what remains of your body, your physicality, coming into alignment with the organic magnetic force of the earth, and you become perfectly aligned south to north, you can see or sense through every cell in your body, and you are surrounded simply by clarity, a momentary fluctuation becomes a pure white goat, coming into existence through ripples in the sun, sea, sand, and some air. The goat is new to this world, unblemished, and gambles over towards you through some combination of the four elements. A fifth element tugs at you gently. This is the element of surprise. The goat continues to fawn and frolic and heads towards you. You begin to wonder if this is Baphomet or perhaps Pan, but then you think, nah, probably not, and it turns out you're right, it's not, it's just some semi-corporeal goat. You know that Baphomet and Pan are both male, and as the goat we'll call Goaty McGoatface comes ever closer, it becomes abundantly clear that she's a lady goat. She continues to frolic and gamble, and you notice a shift in, for want of a better word, the air around you. Suddenly, reality seems to twist, stretching the cardinal compass points to reveal gaps reaching into the void. You remain remarkably sanguine about it, knowing that the void is simply another part of the self. So well done you. You remain calm as four hooded figures emerge from those gaps in reality. The figures wear robes of the deepest black, and even though they look kind of serious, the fact that they have slightly pointy hoods makes you glad that the robes aren't white. They've emerged from the cardinal points and have formed a circle around you. They begin to read from the Kabbalion. The principles of truth are seven. He who knows these, understandingly, possesses the magic key, before whose touch, while all the doors of the temple fly open. The all is mind. The universe is mental. As above, so below. As below, so above, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates, everything is dual, everything has poles, everything has its pair of opposites, like and unlike are the same, opposites identical in their nature, but different in degree, extremes meet, all truths are half-truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. Goaty McGoatface finally frolics front and centre and jumps over what remains of your sense of physical self. As she reaches the crossing point of your recalibrated meridian lines, she's, and it's definitely a she, she's frozen in place and each of the figures sheds their cloak, and each of them suddenly, but smoothly, and not at all scarily, holds a razor-sharp ceremonial dagger. You don't give too much thought as to where the blades have come from, as, now they are uncloaked, it's clear that these entities have little in the way of hiding places. Each is a beautiful woman, 
radiating an internal light and almost as attractive as a girl in my head, but not quite. Or, if it's more your speed, each is a strapping young man, almost as attractive as a boy in her brain, but not quite. They continue to read from the Kabbalion. Everything flows out and in. Everything has its sides. All things rise and fall. The pendulum swing manifests in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to the law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. Gender is in everything. If everything has its masculine and feminine principles, gender manifests on all planes. Just at the fringes of your perception, the knives move across Gota McGoatface, splitting her open from muff to muzzle, spilling golden blood, which turns out to have the consistency of jojoba oil. The buff bevy of beauties begins to massage it into your muscles, in a way that is not at all creepy, not a bit, no siree. The process seems to completely disintegrate your physical sense of self, before annihilating what remains of your dissolving ego. Then, in a few seconds, or possibly a hundred thousand years, Goatee reforms and fawns and frolics while floating away. Our coterie of creatures re-robes, and reality is returned to its original orientation. We're back in mind, body and spirit. Sunshine, sand and sea return, with only a trace scent of goat and genitalia lingering in the air. I hope that you've enjoyed this meditation and it's enabled you to let go of some of the gubbins in your head before hastily packing it all back in there. You uh, might want to see someone about that. But for now, see you next.